we lock the tag out. We know we're powered down. We've checked our alignment on our pulleys. We know we're good there. So next step is going to be we're going to check the proper deflection on this belt to make sure the tension's right. And so this is a Browning belt tensioning tool. It also comes with this little chart. It should be with the tool, but this is readily available online. If you can't find it, just Google search belt tensioning manual. There's four pieces of information this is going to ask you to get before you do your belt tension. Belt type, is it a newer used belt? What's my motor RPM and what's the size of my pulley? I looked at my chart and it tells me I should have eight pounds of deflection. So when I use this tool, there's a couple things I have to set on it first. So then I would take my tape measure, center point to center point. I come at right at about 16 and a half. So I'm gonna fudge that up to 17 inches. And then you'll notice on the tool, you have two O-rings. This O-ring on the bottom is where you set the distance. Well, each one of these lines is in increments of 10. So as you can see, this is not a super precise tool. You are never gonna get that little O-ring to read exactly 17. So I'm trying to get it as close as I can. I got it right below what would be the 20 inch line. The second O-ring on the top here needs to be seated all the way down. Now we need a straight edge. We need to set that guy up there where it's riding on top of our belt. Yes, yeah, so after we've made our measurements and we've set where we need to be here, we've run this top O-ring all the way to the bottom. We know we're right about 17 inches. We need to take our reading from about the center point of between these two pulleys on this belt. So somewhere roughly about right in there. You don't want to be close to this end or that. You need it to be right about in the center of the two belts to get proper deflection. And then we'll be, as we push down, this O-ring will go up and it'll stay. So we're going to push it down till this O-ring is even with the bottom of that straight edge. You kind of got to get down and eyeball it. That to me is right there at the bottom. Looks like we're sitting right at about eight pounds oh, of pressure that it took me to do this. So Johnny boom, it's spot. nailed. Johnny on the spot. I tell you, John, when I first started doing maintenance and stuff, I would have thought that belt is way too tight. I because I, I wasn't using this. I was mm -hmm. going by what everybody would just tell me, you know. You get trained a certain way and that's the way you start doing things. I would have thought that belt was way too tight, but in fact, it's right there where it needs to be.